for today's card, I am starting off with this Recollection stamp set that I had bought at Michael's. And as always, these sets have no names on them. I looked all over on the barcode everywhere else. There's just no names. So anyway, I got it at Michael's. And then this pattern paper from the Melissa Francis Deck the Halls pack. So I've taken the angel image from the set and I'm inking her up with Versamark. This is actually the first thing I thought of when I saw the set is I wanted to emboss this angel. I thought it would look gorgeous. So I've put her on an acrylic block, inked it up with Versamark, and then I'm going to stamp it onto the pattern paper. Which doesn't look like anything when I pull the stamp off. Like you can't see the Versamark at all. But bear with me here. So then I've chosen gold embossing powder. This is Gold Glory from Stampin' Up. I don't even know if they call it that anymore. It's old as the hills, but any gold embossing powder is going to work. And then for once, I'm actually going to show this on camera so you guys can see it because you always have to heat embossing powder. If you don't heat set it and melt it, it'll just um, completely come off when the ink itself dries. So being very, very careful because you can totally fry your skin if you're not careful because these get really, really hot. Um, I'm holding the paper down as I heat um, up the embossing powder and melt it so that it looks just like you're seeing now. So then I just make sure that I've got every part of the image heated up so that I didn't miss any parts because again if it's not melted it's just going to come off when the ink dries. So once that's done it's going. I'm going on to the card front itself and all the pattern papers are from the same Melissa Francis um, Deck the Halls pack and I wanted to add a bit more um, depth to the card because these pattern papers they're very very subtle um, the colors aren't super deep and there's not a whole lot of patterns to work with so because you get like five or six sheets of every pattern so this would be great for mass producing and a card like this would be awesome for mass producing because it goes together quite quickly so I took a piece of black cardstock and I um, used my uh, Martha Stewart uh, lace edger punch to punch out the edges and then I'm going to adhere those to the top and the bottom of the emboss piece just to basically kind of frame the image. I just use my ATG adhesive to adhere all the pattern paper and everything together. So then once I've got all of that done, um, I want to go on to the sentiment I chose. And I chose the large um, word piece from my uh, holiday greetings stamp set and I'm using Stampin' Up um, Naturals Ivory cardstock. Again, I don't know if this is still available. I just had it in my stash and it went really well with the pattern paper. So I lined up the sentiment onto the acrylic block and I'm stamping it with um, Brilliance Graphite Black Ink. As you all know, that is my favorite ink to get really crisp, deep black, which goes perfect with that black cardstock. Plus it just makes the sentiment really pop. Um, and then it's a last minute sort of thing. I decided to round um, just the one corner. That's just my little EK Success corner rounder punch. So then adhere that again using just my ATG. And then once I've got that, I decided to add a bit of ribbon, of course. And again, this is just Mayart's wrinkle ribbon. Um, seam binding ribbon works really well. Just, well, any ribbon really. With this one, it doesn't have to be um, ribbon like this. You could use grow grain or silk ribbon. Um, I just chose a red ribbon and tied that to the top. And then finally, for the final embellishments, I wanted to add a little snowflake. So it's just a Martha Stewart snowflake punch, that one I had purchased at Michael's a year or two ago, and just punched out one of the pattern papers from the Melissa Francis pack. And then I'm going to attach that with a little red brad. And then so it's not just kind of floating there all by itself. I decided to add a couple more brads. So again, this is just my Stampin' Up um, piercing template. So I pierce three even holes, pop the three little brads into place, and then flatten them with my, this is the We Are Memory Keepers brad piercing and setting tool. And then again, acid-free tape to cover the backs of the brads and the ribbon. It just makes it go so much easier when you're using ATG adhesive, so it's not getting caught up on the ribbon or the ends of the brads. So then I've got that, and then I was going to mat that onto um, real red cardstock. Again, that's why it just pulls in with the red of the ribbon, because the red of the pattern paper wasn't quite the right shade of red. So that's the way you can kind of fudge things. So you've got the red of the ribbon, the red of the cardstock, and then the red of the brads all match. And then for the inside of the card, super simple. I just used some of the scraps of pattern paper left over from cutting the card front, followed 
somewhat the same um, layout as I did on the outside. Um, that piece I chose the most neutral and light pattern so that you can write a message over top of it and then just added another sentiment and this one again is from the Holiday Greetings stamp set inked it up with the Brilliance ink and then stamped it onto the Naturals Ivory cardstock and then I'm going to trim that out with my paper trimmer and then just to follow along with the front of the card just edge the one corner with my EK Success Punch and adhere that down. So super simple really quick card it's mostly just the embossed angel that's kind of the main focus and the punch of it so very easy to mass produce um, you can lay it if you leave out all the extra layering on the cardstock and that it'll go even faster but of course I had to add some layers just to give it some more depth so yeah, I added that layer of red cardstock, adhered that to the inside of the card, and that's all there was to it. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!